So, we've sold the 105 Series Land Cruiser. I know what you're thinking. Why did you do that? You know, after spending all the time and effort you put into that car, getting it to how it was, why did you do that? Well, it's pretty simple really. Uh, the Fraser Island trip we went on a few weeks ago um, put a lot of things into perspective for us. So we'd done a lot of short, shorter trips in the car and the car perf performed really well um, and we loved it. And it was the same with our Fraser Island trip. It got us there, no problem. It got us home, no problem. It, it drove everything on the island just in, so incredibly easy that you know, not a single drama the entire time except for one thing and I'm sure a lot of you out there m might have experienced this yourselves but driving that car for you know doing 3,000 kilometers in two weeks it really put into perspective a few shortcomings of the vehicle that we thought uh, you know if, if, if we're going to live out of this car for any sort of extended extended period of time and tow a caravan that it, it just wouldn't quite cut it it wouldn't cut the cake and the big limiting factor for us in the 105 series Land Cruiser was the motor um, and you know a lot of people out there would be like what are you talking about what's wrong with the motor well unless you've driven a 1HZ powered vehicle um, you know with the thing loaded up with camp gear and you know you got the family in the car this they don't have a lot of power. So if you're ever trying to overtake safely or even just get up a hill on a highway, you're gonna find that it, the car just doesn't perform very well. There's not a lot of power there when you need it in situations like that. And I think when you're doing a lot of open driving and towing and things like that, you kind of need a little bit of power from time to time. Not because we, you know, we, want, we want to race down the highway at 120 k's an hour. But you know, sometimes you need to be able to safely overtake people or, you know, maintain a, a decent speed up a hill um, so you don't have like 30 cars sitting behind you. And so we've sold the 105 and we've bought ourselves a HDJ 100 series, a 2006 model GXL, and it is bloody awesome. We're stoked, we're so happy. It's it's a, it's a lot more luxurious than the 105. Um, I'll tell you that, it's, a, it's definitely more comfortable. Um, it's got the 1HD FTE engine in it. It's a five-speed auto, which is another sort of, uh, you know, thing thing that we were leaning towards. We, we, we were looking for an automatic vehicle, just for ease of driving. Um, obviously, we lose a little bit of reliability, but that's fine, we'll talk about that later on. Um, so here's, here's, the, here's the new car, here it is. Um, as you can see, it's in, it's in really good condition. I, I couldn't, be, couldn't be happier with this purchase. I got, I got a pretty good deal on it. Well, at least I think I got a pretty good deal on it. I'm happy with how much I paid for it. It's got 280,000 kilometers on it. Um, and yeah, it's in, it's in great order. Now, it does need some work, some suspension work and uh, things like that underneath the vehicle. Um, all the stock suspension has done 280,000 kilometers. So as you can imagine, it's just all a bit sad and it's sagging a little bit. Um, so rather than just, you know, swap this out to, to get it roadworthy, only to pull it all out again in, in a year or two time, a year or two's time to sort of upgrade the suspension, we're just gonna pull it out now and put in the new suspension now. And that way I'm not doing any sort of double handling or paying twice for labor, things like that. So while we're doing that, while we've got the car sort of up on the hoist and all, all these sort of bits and bobs pulled out, we're gonna do a few other things while it's there. And once again, to save you know on labor. So we'll get the, the bearings repacked, we'll get our brakes sorted out, we'll get braided, we've got braided brake lines going in, um, new CVs are going in, so sort of the, the whole sort of uh, driveline, I guess you would call it. I'm not not too sure. The whole driveline sort of getting a little bit of a, a bit of a birthday, so they say. But yeah, we're really excited to build this car. It's going to be the car that's going to tow a caravan um, around Australia for us and keep us on the road. So. We're a few years away from actually hitting the road, so we get to take our time, build this car, and, and get it right, and get it exactly how we want it. So, 
I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you enjoy the channel. Um, if you have any advice for me, if you've uh, if you've done something like this yourself and you'd like to offer a little bit of advice, or maybe if you you know you had your time again, things you'd do differently, I'd love love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, super keen. This is a this is my dream car, and I couldn't be happier to have it and to you know to work on it and things like that. So. Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.